What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Leezy the Gifted, where I do a brand new episode every single day documenting my journey as an independent musician as well as sharing some tips and tricks along the way. If you're interested in hearing more of these episodes, make sure to subscribe to the podcast. If you're currently watching this on YouTube, click below, subscribe to the podcast. That way, every time a brand new episode drops, it'll pop up right on your cellular device. Today is going to be a little bit half documentation and a lot of tips and tricks. Um, I want to share with you how I generated uh, over $700 in revenue in one week selling my music. And I know that obviously we want to shoot for the stars and we want to go even higher than that. But to be honest with you, this is pretty dope and I'm super excited about it. And I want to share it with you because it is vastly different than the way most people are telling you about marketing music. It's also vastly different than the way most people um, are telling you what's possible on YouTube and the internet and all that stuff. You know, um, so before I, you know, I have my, my little notes with my statistics, but before I jump into that, um, actually I will, t I'll just go, I'll go into the statistic for statistics first, a few of them. Uh, and then um, I'll discuss exactly what I did and and we'll just go from there. So so what I did, uh, first of all, let me talk to you a little bit about what the offer is. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can go to leasythegifted.com, click below, you'll go check it out. But basically what I did was I uh, put together all of the music that I've ever put out in the past 10 years and that added up to about 118 songs and six albums and I put it all in one place and I also offered a few bonuses you can get like exclusive music that's never been released videos a secret audiobook slash talk show that I did and digital images so I basically offered all of that in the form of a flash drive and you could literally like when people bought it from me um, they bought that they're gonna get a digital download of all of that stuff but also I'm shipping flash drives you know like Let's see if I have any like flash drives, not this exact one, but like literally you guys are, I don't know if you guys have ever remembered these, but like flash drives you plug into your computer. Um, so that's exactly, essentially that's what they're getting. Uh, and it's going to be in a little tin holder that I'm going to sign and number each one of them. So it's a super unique offer. And what I did was I, I ran, um, it's the first, it was the first seven days from March 10th, 2021 to March 16th, 2021. So the 10th, 11th, 12th. 13th, 14th, 15th, and the 16th, so seven days. And uh, I just did like a 50% off sale to start it off. So um, it was a $50 product for all of that stuff. And also I offered this little bump item, basically like a bump item means when you, um, after you've filled out all your information, your payment info, your name, email, all that stuff, um, you also, have the option to buy a, a hat and it's basically an exclusive decade collection hat where I'm actually going to sign it and send it to you and two people bought that for $37. So I ended up getting 14 customers and two of those people spent $37. So total that's $774 in revenue. Now um, the amount of visitors that popped up onto my sales page, which means literally the amount of unique visitors that visited the page was 175 unique visitors. So 14 customers divided by 175 unique visitors is an 8% purchase rate, which is pretty good. Um, 175 unique visitors is not a lot. Mind you, I want you to keep this in mind. Um, these stats are small, like these are small numbers, right? I'm very pumped about this though, because you know, of what I did. I. I want to. I want to note, and this is something that's super important. You might be listening to this right now, and you might be impressed. You might not be. Right at this point, you might be like, "Oh, seven hundred seventy-four dollars, cool, bro." No ad spend. I spent zero dollars on any advertising. I did not use any social media promo. Not only did I not use social media, I actually deleted social media off my phone for over. It's been off my phone for over a month. No Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. 
for over a month, like six weeks, I've not had the apps on my phone. So this was all done using, um, using actually my, it was using my phone, but I made phone calls. So, you know, first off, let's, let, let's talk about the good stuff about this. <clears throat> the good stuff that I liked was I love the $774 in revenue. That's great. Um, and no ad spend, which is great. Um, I love the amount of unique visitors to customers that I got, you know, 14 out of 175 to have an 8% purchase rate is, it's good. It's not bad. You know, um, we want to get that number up, you know, I want to get that number up to, you know, between, I would like to get the number up to, to, to 10 to 30%, but starting off, you know, this is really my first offer that I did like this. So 8% purchase rate is pretty good. Um, it's great. You know, uh, and the greatest part about it, you know, is all of the people that bought, you know, I already knew all of them personally, but now I have all their email addresses and phone numbers in one place that I can retarget them with. I can talk to them through emails. I can call them when I want. I already could, could have called all of them because they're homies of mine uh, or just people that I've met, fans of mine from around the way. But now I have their emails all in one place. So... So, so that was really good. Uh, the, the not so great part about this, and I'm going to explain how this all happened, but you know, I have a pretty big email list, but this is going to go to show why having a big email list isn't always good. Uh, I had an email list of 9,000, 9,000. And so, you know, you might be thinking, well, if you have that many people on your list, how come not that many people bought it? Here's what happened in 2019 and 2020, I was a music producer only. So meaning like, meaning I was selling beats online. And I had an offer where I was giving away free beats for your email address. And so that's where the 9,000 people came from. It was rappers who just wanted beats. Some of them are willing to stay on my list to keep up with what I'm doing, but none of them, you know, none of those 9,000 people had really proven or shown that they wanted to be there for my music. I just thought, why not take these people, send them these emails and see what happens. Literally none of those people converted. None. Literally zero people converted. That doesn't mean they're worthless and it doesn't mean they're not going to convert again in the long run. It just means they didn't convert on this. So that's the reason that um, the email list didn't work for this offer and that's fine. That's totally fine. I don't chalk that up as a failure. I don't chalk that up as, oh, that means the whole thing didn't work. I chalk it up as, all right, well, I learned that you know, it's important to have people who are really on your list that actually care. Okay. So, um, so essentially all of the traffic came from just me making phone calls to people that I knew, you know, and just, it, it wasn't even all about the sale. Cause not everybody that I called bought and that's fine. But I called people and was like, Hey, how's everything going? You know, talk to people really got, it was really actually pretty fun. Cause I got to get back in touch with old friends that I haven't talked to in a while. So just having those conversations with people alone was worth the phone calls. But they were like, hey, how's music? And I was like, yeah, I have this thing going on. I told them about it. They said, where can I check it out? You can just go to leasythegift.com. And uh, that's how it happened, man. And uh, I, uh, I really chalked this up as a big win for me because you really got to think about, you know, um, what this really means and the be what this is the beginning of. This is me owning my music. This is, I'm not on a record label. I'm not signed. I'm totally independent. I didn't do any social media promotion. I didn't do, now you might be thinking, well, if you did social media promo, maybe you would have gotten more sales. Probably not. Uh, very unlikely that I would have gotten any sales uh, through social media, but we're gonna find out soon. But uh, no social media promo promotion, no, no advertising, um, no record label, no Spotify. This, was not, this has nothing to do with big corporations. This is me. And my and, and you, my fans. This is really you and me having that direct one-to-one -one relationship, and that's really what this is the beginning of. This is the beginning of me really building a music career completely independently. And I really began my career ten years ago in 2011. That's when I really began. But this is a new beginning, right? This is the beginning of what I've always wanted, which is to actually monetize my music career. So. Even for me, I'm super pumped about 774 bucks. Like I'm super pumped. I'm like, that's sick. That's crazy, right? Um, that's amazing. You know, I'm I'm happy about it because it's better than zero, and it's so much better than, you know, I got 14 people to buy something, 
You know, if I had gotten 14 people to stream a song, it definitely wouldn't have been worth as much. You know, if I got 9,000 people to stream a song, it wouldn't have been worth as much. It wouldn't have made me 774 bucks. You know, those unique visitors that vis visited my page, which was 175, if those people all streamed a song, it wouldn't be worth as much. So I'm happy to just be more, I feel like my strategy is so much more efficient than it was before, you know what I mean? I'm more efficient, I'm not focused on certain things that I don't care about, and this is only gonna get better. You know, I'm gonna come up with the new offers, I'm gonna be selling merchandise, I'm gonna do shows when, when the lockdowns start <laughs> chilling out, right? I'm gonna do shows, um, I'm gonna sell live streams, right? There's just, there's gonna be so much more that I do and I'm gonna be bringing in brand new customers. Maybe you're gonna be one of them. If you go to leezylegitza.com, you can go get Decade Collection right now and see what this is all about. But the point is, you know, it's interesting. Like, the way I think of it is like, you know, I have my overall career, right? And really my goal of my career is, and we're talking business here, the goal of the career is to make as much money as, as possible, right? So. First, it's a six figure, you know, it's six figuring. First, it's 30,000, then 50,000, then 80,000, then $100,000, then 250,000, then 500,000, you know, then it's like 800,000 or whatever, and then it's like earn a million dollars in a, in one year, right? That's really like what I'm trying to do. You know, that's my goal. And then 10, and then 5 million, and then 2 million, and then 5 million, and then 10 million, you know? That's what I'm trying to do. And, um, and, when you break those down and reverse engineer those goals, right, you look at, well, what's the best way to do it? And for me, I love this method of like coming up with a very unique offer and showing it to people who really love what I do to the point where they're going to buy it. And like, you know, it's all about, I love the word iteration. Iteration means like a revision or like a new version of something. You have to look at what is it, what is it that you're currently doing? You know, because you're gonna have these like like the big project for me is earn thirty thousand dollars in one year. Then the next big project is earn fifty thousand. Then the next big project is eighty thousand. So those are like the big projects. Breaking those down, like how do I get to those points? You know, and you got to look at your small projects that you're doing, and even break that down even more. Within one project, you have these these littler projects, which I call sprints. So a sprint is like a short term part of the project and there can be multiple sprints within one project. So for example, like with this, Decade Collection was one big project, launch Decade Collection. But the sprint was write seven emails for uh, email marketing. The next one was build the funnel, which is like building the website. The next one was putting all the music together. Now I have to go order the flash drives because this was all pre-ordered, order the flash drives, order the two hats, right? These are tiny little sprints that go into the project. What are the sprint, what's the project you're working on? What are the sprints you're working on? Because I think a lot of musicians say, I'm trying to release my music. Just want to release it, okay? And then the sprint from there, people go, I need to do marketing because I want to get people to go listen to it on Spotify and I want to get my streams up. And it's like, it's like, you know, my big project is I want to get to a million streams. Dude, to get that much traffic and to get that many people to listen to something, you could just give them something more like what I'm doing and you'll probably earn way more money. You might not get as many eyes on it, but you'll earn more money. You'll have a quality fan base rather than a quantity fan base. My 14 fans right here, I have more than 14 fans, but my 14 people who are like my true, these 14 people are like true diehard fans. Those 14 people are worth more than a thousand streams. It's not even close. These 14 people, because I've got songs with a thousand streams, I've got songs, I have one song with 7,000 streams. These 14 customers are worth, not even customers, they're fans, they're loyal human beings. These people are worth so much more to me than all those streams. You know, I made more on this than my music made in streaming revenue in 10 years. I made more with this project in one week. So, you gotta look at the project you're doing and what are the sprints and are the, are, and the iterations of them, like maybe you put out a song, you're like, that didn't work out, I'm gonna try this new tactic. Are your new tactics, are these new iterations, are these new projects and new sprints really leading you towards something? And these things take time, right? At least with me and this project, this decade collection thing, like this was my first project, was this first seven days, and it earned me this much money 
every new version of this method of like using my own website and selling my music direct, that all these adjustments that I make are getting me so much closer to a bigger goal, which is like actually earning real revenue and generating profit as a musician directly, immediately. You've got to really think about that. You know what I mean? Um, and so I'm going to say one last thing and then we're going to end this off. The I have to I have to say yes, I did a lot of work. It took me 3 months, took me 12 weeks to build this stuff. But I have to give a kudos to my mentor. Okay, so I have a mentor who helped me with this stuff. You know, he didn't he didn't do the work for me. He guided me a lot. You know, and he's he's really like a bit he's the one who put me onto this whole tactic and he's really the big reason that I actually did all this. And he is the reason I did all this. And it's like, it's very cool that I have a mentor and I, I honestly recommend you get a mentor as well. Um, but, you know, and if you want to, you could click below and I actually have his ebook that you should probably go get. Go click his ebook um, about how to really grow your fan base the right way. I mean, it worked for me and it's working even more for me. And I would go, I would go read his book. It's super good. But, um, you know, know who you're listening to. You know, you got to understand who I'm not listening to. You got to understand who I didn't listen to. I didn't listen to all of the, like, I'm, I'm really trying to think, and I'm, I swear, I'm very much trying to give credit where credit's due. All of the marketing gurus on YouTube, I didn't listen to any of them. Like, I used none of what they taught me, taught me. I used none of what they taught me for this. Like nothing they've said has helped me. You know, almost, almost everything that I got from this, none of it came from music marketing people on YouTube. I think that it, a lot of it depends on what your goals are. When it comes to building a business, you need an offer. You need something people can actually buy. You know, all the things that the music marketing people on YouTube tell you is great information for what's called traffic which is how to get eyes on you. But none of them teach you how to convert the fans. Almost none of them teach you actually how to convert your fans and how to, how to really monetize those fans. They talk to you about streaming revenue. They, you are too worried about puffing up these vanity metrics. When, when you should be thinking about, how do I do this? 14 is a small number, but it's 14 customers. My goal for 2021 is 1,000 customers. 14 down. What, what's 1,000 minus 14? I'm so bad at math. 14 down, 986 new customers to go. 14 down, 986 customers to go. 1,000 fans. Not a million streams, not a million views, not a big email list. 14 down, 986 to go. And I'm super excited to keep going. All right, so hey, listen, if you got any value out of this podcast, you should share it with a friend. Because truth be told, there's so much, you know, misinformation on the internet. I know that's a word that a lot of the gurus use to prove other people wrong and make themselves look good. I'm not a guru. I'm not here selling you anything. I mean, you can go check out Decade Collection. If you want, leasythegifted.com, just to look at it. You don't have to buy it. I don't care. You know, if you're just a musician looking for some information on the internet, you're probably not going to buy it. I'm cool with that. I don't care. But I'm not here selling you a course. I'm not selling mentorship right now. And I'm not trying to book a call with you right now. Nothing. Like, I'm just documenting my journey and telling you what's been going on with me as a musician. That's it. I don't even care how many views this video gets. I have no interest in views anymore. All I care about is really inspiring people and doing it the right way. So... You know, if you got value from it, share it with a friend because this is the stuff that needs to be said. You know, this is the stuff that people need to know about. How do you build a business? How do you build a sales funnel? How do you build an email marketing campaign? You know, even though my email marketing campaign didn't work, it wasn't because the emails, it was because the people. All I got to do is start generating some leads that are actually interested in the music. So I'm pumped, I'm excited, and I'm ready to keep this thing going, all right? 
So thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Peace! Yeah.